Today on Fallow Vision News, registration for 2024 classes starts next week. We'll tell you all you need to know to sign up for classes on time. And find out how a sorority on campus is spreading awareness for breast cancer examinations. Plus, the perfect way to blow off some steam. An inside look at the rage room constructed by UPC. Fallow Vision News starts right now. Hello and welcome to Valo Vision News. I'm John Limbaugh. And I'm Lydia Hendrick. Thanks so much for watching. Students across campus are being advised for their 2024 classes. Registration is just a week away. Valo Vision News reporter Rachel Rayford joins us in the studio with a look at important dates you need to know. Rachel? That's right, guys. If you want to get in the classes you need and build the best schedule possible, make sure you know when you can sign up for classes for spring and summer 2024. Graduate students can start registering next Monday, October 30th. Undergrads start registering later that week. S seniors and students with priority registration can sign up Wednesday, November 1st. Juniors and student athletes on Friday, November 3rd. Sophomores can register the following Tuesday, November 7th. And finally, freshmen can sign up for classes on Thursday the 9th. Remember, your student account will need to be fully paid or you won't be able to register. You'll also need to meet with your academic advisor beforehand so they can enter your registration clearance. Reporting in the studio, I'm Rachel Rayford. Back to you. University of Montevallo Sigma Gamma Rho sorority hosted a breast cancer awareness table talk last Thursday, educating people about why it's important to get checked. Some people are lucky enough to catch the early signs and others shared about their firsthand experience of the effects this disease can have. Take a look. Each year in the United States, about 240,000 people are affected by breast cancer. One person being Lydia Marsh. Although she didn't have the disease herself, Marsh witnessed her best friend's mother battle her fight against breast cancer. Brianna was her name. After being diagnosed, she beat the disease once until it came back. Lydia says it was a difficult journey, but she is grateful for their last moment. It was very hard because we all loved her so much. And that Christmas, it was the next, in 2021, we took her to the mountains because she had never been to Gatlinburg. And that was the last trip that we got with her because a few months after she passed away. Lydia says that Brianna was her best friend's rock and urges everyone to get checked. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Like, even if you're like, oh, it doesn't run my family or anything. I mean, you could be someone that it could start that line. Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority celebrates breast cancer survivors within and outside of their organization. President DeSandria McKinney says October is the month of women's wellness. Since we've been charting here on campus in 2021, we've been trying to push uh, women's wellness and especially this initiative since we have a lot of sororers who have dealt with this firsthand. To learn how to donate and stay updated on other events, visit Montevallo underscore SGRHO on Instagram. UM has a busy week ahead. Here's a look at some of the major events happening. The 2023 Com Senior Showcase is this Thursday from 1 to 3 p.m. in the Student Activity Center. Communications Studies seniors will demonstrate their projects and accomplishments and discuss how their work connects to their post-graduation career and academic goals. If you would like to RSVP to this event, you can contact Dr. Ray Osley for more information. UM is unveiling its newest athletic venue to the public this week. A ribbon cutting for the university's new mountain bike course is happening this Thursday at 430. The entire campus community is invited to attend. The mountain bike course was built near the University Lake on what used to be the golf course. The City of Montevallo will be holding its Art Stock Festival this Saturday on Main Street from 11 to 5. The annual arts event features work from up to 100 artists, craftspersons, makers, and performers. You can also shop from temporary vendors and permanent Montevallo merchants and restaurants. If you'd like to have a booth in this year's Art Stock, you have until the 26th to register. Have midterms been causing you a lot of stress? If so, you're not alone. Fortunately, UM's University Program Council has found a way for students to relieve that stress by making a mess. Valovision News reporter Avery Zhao shows us how to do that. UPC hosted Mobile Rage Room to help let out any of those negative or stressful emotions that comes with being a student at Montevallo. In this Rage Room, students are first asked to scan a QR code with a waiver. 
Then, using markers, write on plates with anything they feel that has been stressing them out or emotions they just want to let go of. And then, they're ready to throw. A scroll on Instagram led senior Kylie Jordan out for the event after a buildup of stress from midterms and assignments. I saw it on Instagram and I thought it'd be a good way for me to relieve some of my stress um, that I've been having the past couple weeks with all the assignments due, midterms, all that good stuff. UPC member Megan Mayo shares how students can regulate their emotions in stressful times. Like actually talk to someone, like try to get it out. Don't like uh, bottle it up because then it'll get worse. With juggling school, work, and extracurriculars, Jordan definitely had something to smash a plate over. Specifically, just work-life balance, work school and life balance. I would say I'm fairly involved on campus, um, but then I also have to work and I also have to go to school. And so there's just a lot of things all the time. And this was the great, like a good opportunity for me to take that stress out. Letting your emotions out, throwing plates, and having fun doing it. UPC hosts events like these during the school year. So be sure to follow them on Instagram at Montevallo underscore UPC. If you're looking for ways to de-stress or other campus activities, be sure to go to falconlink.montevallo.edu where you'll see a calendar for all the upcoming events this semester. For Valley Vision News, Montevallo, I'm Avery Zhao. Remember, there's always more news 24-7 on our social media pages. Just search for Valley Vision News on Instagram, Facebook, and X for more stories throughout the week. Still ahead on Valovision News, coffee and donuts, the perfect way to start the day. We'll tell you how you can get both for free on campus every week. Plus, some are calling them crutes. We tell you all about Crocs' brand new cowboy boots. Plus, how you can show off your Crocs in style with Montevallo's Croc Club this week. We'll be right back. Create your future as a social media manager, filmmaker, journalist, and so much more with a degree in communication studies and mass communication. Visit montevallo.edu slash COFA for more information. You belong at Montevallo. Welcome back to Valo Vision News. If you're in need of a midweek pick-me-up, the Department of Communication has a tasty way to start your Wednesday. Cypress Wilkinson has our story. Your Wednesdays may have just gotten a little sweeter. Every week, a donut and coffee bar is put out in Strong Hall, and the Department of Communications Administrative Assistant, Savannah Grace, says, The inspiration behind the Wake Up Wednesdays bar was to create a sense of community for faculty and staff. But we just really wanted to um, try to encourage students and faculty to kind of hang around a little bit more in the lobby. Elise Kidd, a Mass Comm student, says she likes having chats before class and being able to grab a donut with friends. I saw the post on the department's Instagram, um, and I was like, wow, that's really fun. And then one of my friends is also a mass comm major, and she was like, you should go get donuts with me in the morning. So now I'm here to get donuts, and this is so fun. <laughs> Grace says that if you're in the need of a midweek pick-me-up, to come by every Wednesday morning. It's on a Wednesday, so it's kind of the idea of get you over the middle of the week and push through. Um, and once you make it past the middle of the week, you can finish strong. Wake Up Wednesdays, every Wednesday, right here in Strong Hall. Make sure to stop by and grab a donut. Reporting for Valavision News, I'm Cypress Wilkinson. For more information about Wake Up Wednesday, be sure to like the University of Montevallo Department of Communications page on Facebook. Today marks the start of the Montevallo Croc Club's Fit Check Week. It's a chance to show off your Crocs and clothes as we get closer to Halloween. Themes include wacky and tacky, all-star athlete, and dress to impress. To see the full list of fit checks, visit their Instagram at Montevallo Crocs. Speaking of Crocs, check out Crocs' latest creation. Crocs launched their new classic cowboy boots today after announcing the new clog on October 5th. Crocs took to social media Monday morning stating the boots were, quote, for our fans, inspired by our fans. The new classic cowboy boots retail for $120 and can be purchased on Crocs.com. How do you feel about Crocs? Like, are you buying them? No, I have flat feet, so I need good arch <laughs> support, so Crocs aren't for me. What about you? I feel like Crocs literally takes every shoe style and makes it their own and just doesn't want to do the clog anymore, so. No. I have no doubt they're going to make a lot of money off this. <laughs> for real, especially with Halloween, it's a great time to launch. Well, whatever works for them. <laughs> Remember, there's always more news from our team of reporters on our website. Visit ballovisionnews.wordpress.com to see more stories from UM throughout the week. Well, that's all the time we have for today. 
Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in for The Buzz on Wednesday.